To answer your question about the difference between how we take care of TBI and PTSD and how the VA might take care of PTSD and TBI is a conceptual understanding first. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in PTSD because if you look at all the veterans coming back, you ask them, have you had any kind of trauma? Now, trauma is what has to be defined. Have they had blast trauma? Have they had penetrating injury? Have they had their head knocked? Were they in a vehicle that rolled down a embankment of 50 feet after an IED, you know, exploded? And the difference is with PTSD, it's no trauma, no history of trauma, no physical trauma, none whatsoever. It's pure psychiatric. So when you look at us, what we do is we define that. Is it is there a physical component which will cause the TBI to be the diagnosis that we use, or is no physical trauma and it's PTSD? The VA, on the other hand, looking at the literature that came out from 2012 on, 410 people returned, they gave 380,000 of them medication because they all had PTSD. Because they looked at the end point of their complaints, they had 380,000 vets going to VAs around the country complaining of all these symptoms that were depressive in nature, that were anxiety, that were night terrors, social anxiety, withdrawn and so forth, crying, inability to maintain a relationship or to work. And they said, okay, that's PTSD. They never went to the beginning to find out what precipitated the appearance of PTSD. The and that's root the cause. Trauma. The, the root, root cause, cause yes. absolutely. The root cause. And that root cause is the trauma.